Greetings of the day my dear students in continuation with Rajasthani school of miniature painting today we are going to do Jaipur sub school Jaipur was founded by Sawai Jai Singh who ruled Jaipur from 1693 to 1743 he had the palace of Ambedkar built in the indigenous rajput style rajput architecture greatly influenced early mughal architecture at fatehpur sikri and agra but in the paintings of royal portraits we can see the mughal influence maharaja ishwar singh successor of jai singh was also a lover of art jaipur paintings reached its climax during the rule of maharana pratap singh up to 1780 it was during his reign when mughal influence was thrown off and jinain jaipur style emerged during his reign the themes related to krishna were painted over 50 artists work under him rag and ragini and scenes from different seasons that is bara masa were also beautifully painted painter sahib ram painted a full figure portrait of maharaja ishwar singh lal chitara was an expert in bird painting in the reign of sawai pratap singh painting were done on ramayan mahabharata portraits musical concerts with king in court and naika bheda raga and ragini were painted everywhere in rajasthan there is a grace in the use of colors and lines in the paintings we can see the expressions of emotions of different postures jaipur paintings have ornamented border light and shade has been beautifully done in jaipur painting like this style of mughal school though it was dominated by mughal school of painting of the later period now we will discuss about the features of jaipur paintings in the paintings of jaipur there is a grace in the use of colors and lines there is the expression of emotion of different postures the faces of women are round figures are in medium size eyes are large and elongated with an upward curve the lehenga or gagras of women are painted with dark colors the male figures have a robust body round nose and hair reaching up to the ear the men wear loose pajamas and turbans studded with diamonds Jaipur paintings have ornamented border light and shade has been used properly now my dear students we are going to discuss about the painting Bharat meets Rama at Chitrakoot the painting Bharat meets Rama at Chitrakoot is an episodic presentation from the Ramayana theme executed under the patronage of Sawai Pratap Singh during the middle of the 18th century is a unique painting of his time this painting is painted by the artist guman in watercolor medium and technique was tempera in 18th century ad and the collection of this painting is at national museum new delhi There are all together 49 figures put in separate groups in this painting bring to light the separate episodes in a drama of trying to take Rama back to Ayodhya in the right lower corner Rama listens to Vishwamitra of his father's death and loses consciousness in the next picture on the lower left rama listens to ascetics and falls flat at their feet possibly asking forgiveness for showing weakness the next picture is in upper set 
In the middle, Rama meets his mothers, accompanied by Lakshman and Sita, begs their forgiveness for refusing to break his words and go back with them. Rama allows Kaushalya to embrace him, but sticks to his point of carrying out the orders of 14 years of exile to keep his father's word. Rama touched the feet of mother Kekai, begging her forgiveness. Sita, on the right-hand corner, faces her mother-in-laws and declares her intention of following her husband in exile. Finally, in the right-hand corner of the sitting Rama, Lakshman, Sita and bidding goodbye to Bharat, Shatrugna, Vishwamitra and their mothers, promising that they would come back after 14 years of exile. Painter Guman has done a wonderful presentation of 49 figures on a small canvas relating an entire story in episodic form, bringing the same figures in groups of Rama to express his desire of carrying out his father's wishes. Rama's cottage is dimly seen in the right hand corner and there is a bunch of banana grove. Beyond that, there is a profusion of green in the whole painting for the background. In the foreground, there is a pond like stretch of water, possibly a part of the river Saryu. Blooming lotuses and colors used are green, blue, yellow and white very dexterously. It is a well executed painting of the Jaipur school. So my dear students, in this way, we have completed the Rajasthani school of miniature paintings. Thank you and have a wonderful day.